Ewood Park is the home of championship side Blackburn Rovers. They won the Premier League back in the 94-95 season and the 2002 League Cup final. Blackburn were a regular Barclays team. After an 11-year stint in the Premier League, Blackburn were relegated in 2012 and again to League One in 2017. They now see themselves back in the championship, sitting sixth in the league. A good start to the season, but we are taking over to bring back Blackburn to the summit of the Premier League. Make sure to leave a like on the video, comment your thoughts on the video and also subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos and let's start this Blackburn rebuild and head in to season one okay then guys for season one we're going to be using the counter attack tactical preset and we're also going to be playing the 4-4-1-1 or 4-3-1-2 whichever way you want to look at it it's probably more of a 4-4-1-1 just because Campbell's playing in the cam he's not really playing as a central midfielder and that is actually going to be the lineup for the first season obviously I've tried to jiggle the team around a little bit Cantwell the new signing comes in Dolan on the left Travis Hedges Beck on loan from Liverpool which is actually really good he's quite a good player in career mode for the first season guys we're not going to make any transfers I'm just going to play with this team see where we end up in the league I think we could try and maybe push for a playoff position if not then just try and accumulate as much money as we can we'll probably sell off a lot of players that aren't going to be in the squad or use this season just to raise a bit of money because we only have like five million pounds and I'd rather just not waste that and just save up the next season and then we can try and start signing new players so we're going to use this team for the first season I'm hopeful we can try and compete in the championship Obviously, Blackburn are doing really well in real life right now. That's the team. Season 1 is here. Let's see where we can finish in Season 1. So we come to the end of Season 1, guys. And as you can see, Blackburn have finished 10th in the Championship. 65 points for the season. We were about 10 or so points away from the playoff position. So something to improve on for next season for sure. But we didn't make any transfers this season. So I'm actually really happy with a 10th place finish. As you can see, that is the table. But in terms of like the playoff positions and also automatic promotions, we are quite away from automatic promotion. But we could definitely try and sneak into the playoffs I think next season I think hopefully we can try and build some funds together and get ourselves some more money to be able to buy a couple of players we beat Southampton after we beat Southampton on penalties in the FA Cup third round and then we crashed out in the fourth round against Liverpool as we lost 3-1 we beat Blackpool 3-1 in the round. We beat Blackpool 3-1 in the first round of the Carabao Cup. We then beat Exeter 2-1 in the second round. And then we beat QPR 1-0 in the third round of the Carabao Cup. And then unfortunately we faced the Premier League side and we lost 2-0 to Everton. PSV beat Man City 3-1 to win the Champions League this season. Atletico Bilbao beat Roma to win the Europa League 3-1. And then Chelsea won at the Europa League Conference 3-0. Here's the stats for the end of the season, guys. Gay getting the goals, 25 goals this season. Countwell with 12 goals and 4 assists. Hedges, 10 goals, 10 assists from right and mid. Sigurdsson, 10 goals, 7 assists. And then a whole load of other players just getting goals here and there. For the first season with this Blackburn team, we do finish 10th in the league. Just shy of the playoff positions, I think. Like I said before, we need a couple of new signings, I think. But I'm going to go into season 2. I'm going to go through the squad, try to sell some players and earn a load of cash. We can hopefully bring in some better players for this Blackburn squad. We start season two with a couple of player sales, guys. We've had to raise some money. We only had about £4 million in the bank. I've decided to sell some players that just aren't going to play for us. Backup players, rotational players that just, yeah, they're not going to play. But I've sold them. We've now got £9 million. I'm going to go out and get one player. It's going to be a striker because I feel like we need to get goals. And I think I'd rather invest in a striker because the all-round squad in the other positions are actually quite good. So I've got a couple of players lined up on the transfer list and decide who I'm going to pick and hopefully we can try and get someone that's going to bang in the goals for us this season because we do want to try and aim for that playoff position we have gone out and got our new striker guys like I said I wanted to get someone who's going to bring us some goals and I've also gone out and got someone that's quite young to have here for the future David Washington joins from Chelsea for 5.1 million pounds a very highly rated striker only 20 years of age 72 overall he'll come straight into the starting lineup 5.1 million pounds spent on him obviously that is quite a bit of money for only a 20 year old but 72 overall already and he's going to play every game for us I think he's going to absolutely smash it at Blackburn I have actually decided to go out and loan someone in for the season it's going to be a new holding midfielder I just feel like we needed someone to have as some squad depth and who can actually start for us as well Alexandra Popolos I mean that is an absolutely outrageous name He's coming in from Sporting Lisbon. He will be playing in the holding midfield role. 23 years of age, 73 overall. He was on the loan list. I had a little look and he looks like a really good player. We got him on a one-year loan. Like I said, he's going to slot straight into that central midfield role. Okay then, guys, this is going to be the team for season two. Pickering comes in at left back because Beck has gone back to Liverpool from his loan spell. Washington comes in up top.
top, Alexandre Popolos comes in to play next to Travis. And then Wharton also comes in at centre half to play with Carter. So that is the team for season two. A couple of upgrades into the squad. And we finished 10th last season. And the hopes are now to aim into that playoff position. I think overall this squad is very, very good in terms of a championship size. I'm really hoping David Washington can get us the goals this season. So without further ado, guys, we are going to dive into season two and see if we can try and get that playoff place. We're at the end of season two, guys, and we missed out on the playoffs by two points. I can't believe it. It went down to the last game of the season and we bottled it. We didn't make the playoffs. Literally two points in it. So, so close. But we have definitely improved from last season, which is good to see, but we just missed out on the playoffs. As you can see, Ipswich and Brentford are going straight up. So I've had the Norwich, Sheffield United and Millwall in the playoffs. We got knocked out by Coventry in the FA Cup third round on penalties and then also got knocked out by Derby 2-1 in the second round of the Carabao Cup. So we didn't even get out of any of the first rounds we were in in either cup. Real Madrid won the Champions League this season 3-0. Leipzig beat Lyon 1-0 to win the Europa League. And Olympiacos beat Crystal Palace 1-0 to win the Conference League. So these are the stats for the end of the season. Obviously a bit of a mixture in terms of who got the goals. Gay and Washington getting goals. He's already up to 74, which is really good to see. Sigurdsson getting a few goals and assists as well. Same as Hedges on that right-hand side. And then just a load of other players helping out here and there. I've noticed the team is actually quite old in terms of certain player ages. Something to look out for the next season because obviously I don't want to have so many old players that just aren't worth anything and then aren't really progressing in the race. Ratings. I might look in. I might look to bring in some younger players in the coming seasons. We just missed out on the playoffs this season, guys. Two points in it. I really do think if we can try and sign a couple more players this season, we will really, really kick on into that playoff position and hopefully get promoted to the Premier League once again. So season three is upon us. I need a couple more players. I'm really happy with the way the squad is turning out, though. We're going to start with season three and the transfer window to try and sign some more players. To start season three, guys, we have done a lot of transfers. I've gone to the free agent market because i just didn't have enough money at all we had enough we had like five we had like five million pounds to spend i just didn't have enough to bring in enough players so i used all the money in wages and brought in free agents tagli was taglia was the first player we signed and he's gonna be playing a right back joe aribo is gonna be coming in as a central midfield option becca is gonna be starting central midfield with travis atkinson comes in to play center back and keiki comes in from man city for a two-year loan he's gonna be playing on the right hand side of the midfield so this is what the team going to be looking like guys i'm really happy with this squad i think this season is when we do get the playoff position because we have improved the team massively in terms of the ratings so yeah all the new signings apart from Maribo come into the starting 11 really happy with the way campwell is playing and also david washington hopefully we can continue to progress each season obviously the past two seasons we've got better and better third season is here hopefully we can try and get into the playoff position and then we can start thinking about getting into the premier league so season three is here let's see where we finish hopefully it is in the playoff play we're at the end of season three guys as you can see blackburn finished fourth in the championship we finally made it to the playoffs guys a massive improvement once again from last season 78 points obviously quite far away from the two teams that did get automatic promotion in leeds and norwich but nevertheless we did finally get into the playoffs we beat stoke city two on an aggregate guys so that means we go into the playoff final and we will be playing sheffield united who absolutely smashed everton 4-0 and we've done it guys we have won the championship playoff final and blackburn Rovers will be going to the Premier League. 2-0 win against Sheffield United. Absolutely buzzing with that. Really, really happy that we finally got to the Premiership. Obviously, first two seasons were a bit shaky. We just missed out on the playoffs last year. Got in the playoffs this year and we have gone and won it all, which is amazing to see. So we have the big task of being in the Premiership next season. We didn't even make it out the first round of the Carabao Cup. Chesterfield beating us 3-1 away from home. We beat West Ham 4-3 on penalties in the third round of the FA Cup. And then we beat Forest 2-1 in the fourth round. So that's two Premier League teams we beat in the FA Cup so far. And then we beat Arsenal 2-1 in the fifth round to make the quarterfinals, the furthest we've been in this rebuild in the FA Cup. And then unfortunately, guys, Brentford did beat us 3-1 in the quarterfinals. Chelsea ended up winning the FA Cup this season. Dortmund beat Bayern Munich in an all-German Champions League final. Lenz beat Benfica 2-1 to win the Europa League this season. Aston Villa did end up winning the Conference League 4-0. Here we have the stats at the end of the season, guys. Hedges once again getting a lot of goals for us. Washington 
also getting a lot of goals already up to 76 overall which i think is absolutely insane campwell really really happy with the way he's progressing for us as well and then a load of other players just getting a load of goals for us to help us and obviously we got to the playoff final and we won it the next season we've got the big task of premier league football want again for blackburn rovers we are going to need a serious revamp of this squad hopefully they give us a, a fair bit of money otherwise it's going to be a real struggle but we're going to dive into season four now in this blackburn rebuild first season in the premiership in this rebuild hopefully we can try and stay up in the premier league we're going to need to try and sign some more players if we want to try and achieve that we have made our first signing in the premier league guys and it's going to be a new center back we didn't really have much depth in terms of center back options so guzman comes in from sevilla for eight million pounds He's 19 years of age, 76 overall. He will be playing alongside Atkinson. Really, really happy with this pickup. I think he's going to be a great addition to the team. And he's going to slot straight into that centre-back role. The next signing is going to be a new right midfielder, guys. I seen him on the free agent list and I thought, you know what? I'm going to take a risk and go for him. He's going to come in and play for us in the right midfield slot. And he's going to start straight away. It is David Brooks. Obviously, he plays for Bournemouth in real life. 29 years of age, 74 overall. I thought, you know what? He could be good for a season or two, especially when we're trying to stay up in the Premier League. He's got a lot of Premier League experience. So I'm really happy with that. Free agent, 29 years old, 74 overall. We've also decided to go out on the other side and get a, and get a left midfielder. Hassan joins from Palmer for £6.5 million. Another young player, 18 years of age, 74 overall. Like I said in the previous seasons, I want to try and invest in the youth players and bring through as many young players as we can and develop them at Blackburn Rovers. So Hassan comes in, the latest addition to the squad. We've got a little bit of money left over, so I'm going to potentially go out and get a new goalkeeper. We'll see if we can try and scout some new players. But Hassan will be our new left midfielder, guys. We've also signed a new goalkeeper, guys. I just about had enough money to get a new goalkeeper in. Mohamedou Kofi comes in from Middlesbrough for £9.7 million. Pounds. 77 overall, another young keeper, 21 years of age. He will be coming in to be our number one goalkeeper. £9.7 million. Pounds spent overall he's got some really really good stats and i'm really happy with this another youngster so this will be your team for season four guys obviously we've got a couple of changes to the lineup coffee comes in guzman comes in brooks does as well and then we have hassan coming in on the left hand side overall the team is starting to develop which i'm really really happy with i think these new additions will be very key to try and keep us up in the premier league the first season back in the premier league we're gonna see if we can try and stay up i'm hoping we can just stay just above the relegation zone i don't really mind i'm not aiming for anything higher than that i just want to stay in the premier league for the first season without further ado guys we are going to dive into season four and the first season in the premier league to see if we can stay in the premier league we come to the end of season four guys and black Blackburn Rovers have just about stayed up in the Premier League, finishing 16th in the league. We ended on 38 points. Norwich, who got relegated in 18th, finished on 34. So it was only four points away from getting relegated this season. But like I said at the start of this season, the only goal was to stay up in the Premier League and we have done so. So that is perfect. We can try and build on that into the next season. I think it's going to take a couple of seasons to build and develop in the Premier League. We start thinking about trying to get up in the table like you can see here. City winning the league, Chelsea second, Villa third, Liverpool fourth. Unfortunately, no FA Cup run this year because Villa knocked us out 2-1 in the third round. Same with the Carabao Cup. Wolves beat us 2-1 on penalties in the third round to knock us out. So no cup runs at all this season. City beat Barca in the Champions League final 4-2. Liverpool beat Villa in an all-English final of the Europa League. And Valencia did win at the Europa Conference League in Season 4. So here we have it guys, the stats for the end of the season. David Washington, 20 goals, top goal scorer for us this season. 79 overall, really is developing very nicely, I have to say. 22 years of age, I think he's going to be a top talent for us. I'm going to definitely be keeping him, I think, for the whole rebuild. And then Cantwell as well, he's age 30 now, but he's still getting some goals and assists as well. And then everyone else is just kind of getting goals here and there. Not really anyone that's standing out apart from David and Cantwell, really. We stayed up in Season 4. That was the goal at the start of the season, so I'm happy to move on into season five now hopefully we can try and invest a lot of malt hopefully we can try and invest a lot more money into this squad I feel like we need to sign at least five or six players but i just don't have the funds to do that we're going to dive into season five now and hopefully try and stay in the premier league once again and we need to try and improve this team if we want to do so we're kicking off season five guys and i've decided to sell some players in order to raise some more money and now as you can see sigurdsson travis and Aribo have all left we've raised about 15.5 million pounds roughly 
roughly or just under try and use to sign some new players obviously Travis the captain has gone age 30 now I felt like it was time to move on I thought I'd cash in when Fulham came in for an 11 million pound bid we now only have 22 million pounds to spend but I'm gonna try and use some youth players I want to try and get some younger players in to then grow them to try and use them in further seasons we have made our first signing guys in season five and it is a new central midfielder to replace Travis Alex Matos has come in from Chelsea for 9.8 million pounds he's still only 23 in this save 77 overall he's gonna be playing alongside Becker in central midfield look at those stats all round very very good I think he's gonna be one for the future and one that's gonna be in our midfield for a very long time 9.8 million pounds spent we also have enough money to try and go out and get ourselves a new left back we've gone out and signed a new left back guys Bischoff is gonna be coming in to replace Pickering at left back 22 years of age 80 overall already and I think he's gonna be a really good asset for us in the left back position like I said Pickering will drop to the bench 6.7 million pounds spent we've pretty much spent our whole budget for season five on two players but it was two players that we needed to go out and get so then guys this is gonna be your team for season five Bischoff and Matos have come in to replace obviously Pickering and also Travis who left in the transfer window I'm liking the look of Campbell and Washington also Hassan on the left hand side obviously this team is still very very low in the ratings and I think it's going to take a while for this team to kind of improve in terms of the ratings but nevertheless we're going to still continue you on hopefully try and stay in the Premier League again this season we're gonna go into season five now hoping to stay up in the Premier League seeing if we can try and finish better than we did last season so then guys we come to the end of season five and as you can see Blackburn have finished 12. I'm absolutely buzzing with that guys because we have finished 12th in the league 48 points we stayed eight points away or so from the relegation zone it's a massive improvement from last season's finish now obviously we're still a load of points away from finishing anywhere near the top 10 but finishing 12th is a massive improvement in this rebuild second season in the Prem really happy with that FA Cup now will beat Swindon 3-1 in round three and then unfortunately Crystal Palace knocked us out on penalties in the fourth round and then we beat Swindon in the second round of the Carabao Cup facing them in the early stages once again in a different competition we beat Watford 3-1 away from home in the third round of the Carabao Cup and then unfortunately guys Chelsea did beat us 3-2 in the fourth round AC Milan won the Champions League this season Newcastle beat Lazio 2-1 to win the Europa League and Bordeaux beat Galatasaray 1-0 to win the Conference League this season so here are your stats at the end of season five guys as you can see David Washington 23 years of age 25 goals he now up to an 81 overall he's climbed nearly 10 ratings since we first signed him which is an absolutely insane return on him Campwell still getting the goals age 31 now 13 goals nine assists for him this season San on the left hand side 12 goals five assists from left midfield which is really nice to see he's up to a 77 now Matos getting 10 goals in his first season with us really happy with that I think he's gonna be a really good player for us in the seasons to come then a lot of other players just getting goals here and there one of our youth academy players getting three goals this season he's up to a 69 rated hopefully we can try and use him more throughout this rebuild that's going to conclude season five guys a much improved finish in the league table no cup run to shout about unfortunately we need to use that momentum in the league table into season six to hopefully try and keep climbing the table we're gonna need a few more signings let's dive into the season six transfer window and see who we can pick up it's season six guys we've made a new center back signing a new left center back Bashir Humphreys has joined from Chelsea for 8.5 million pounds I think he's gonna come in and replace Atkinson who's now age 30 four years younger 77 overall 8.5 million pounds spent he was on the transfer list I thought I'd go out and get him because he's gonna replace Atkinson in the left center back role I've decided to sell Todd Cantwell guys he has gone to West Ham for £32 million. I couldn't say no to that. £32 million for a 32 or 31 year old, sorry. I just had to take the money. I think we can actually use that money and reinvest it in a couple of players for the squad. Obviously, we've had only £15 million, only able to sign Bashir Humphrey. So I decided to sell Campwell and reinvest our money in some younger players who are going to be a bit cheaper, hopefully. We've gone out and got our Todd Cantwell replacement, guys. A new center attacker mid from the French League. Aaron Malouda has come in from Lille for 7.5 million pounds 23 years of age he looks like a really really interesting player 80 pace 81 dribbling i think he's gonna be a really tricky player once he develops at blackburn we've also gone out and got a new right midfielder guys to replace david brooks he will be dropping to the bench axel atom has come in from Augsburg for 9.4 million pounds the argentinian has come in 23 years of age 76 overall he will be replacing brooks nine years difference between the two 81 pace 9.4 million pounds spent like i said he's gonna be replacing 
between Brooks. Brooks is probably going to drop to the bench or I might sell him to get the money while I can. We are busy now with all these funds coming in. We've now made a new central midfield signing. It's another signing for season six. Brecken comes in for £5.2 million from Manchester City. He's 25 years of age. He will be slotting in the midfield. He will be a backup option. I might start him. I'm going to assess the squad after this just to see if he is good enough to start. But overall, he does look really, really good. £5.2 million spent. I think he's going to be a cheap asset to bring into this Blackburn side. We have made one more signing, guys, in this transfer window. I've used all the money I can, tried to build up the squad as much as I can. Bailey comes in for £1.7 million from Monaco. He is just going to be a backup option we didn't really have many center backs left at the club he's only age 21 70 overall 1.7 million you can't really complain with a transfer fee like that this will be your team for season six guys and as you can see i am actually really i am really really happy with the way this team has turned out obviously we did have to lose campwell who was obviously a massive player for us but with him going it allowed us to go and sign multiple players to help improve this squad Humphreys comes in at center back maluda comes in at center attacking mid atom comes in at right mid field as well we also have brecken on the bench he will probably be going into the team next season for now this is your team for season six i really do think we can start pushing up the table some really really nice looking young players in here i'm hoping we can just build on this throughout the seasons to come and i'm hoping we can build on this throughout the seasons to come we're trying to implement youth players and bringing them through to play for the first team but without further ado guys we're going to dive in to season six now we're trying to climb the premier league table hopefully we can try and get a little cup run as well so let's see how we get on in season six the end of season six is here guys and as you can see Blackburn have finished 15th in the Premier League. It was a fairly close one in terms of relegation once again but as you can also see the points between us and 11th were only seven points so it was quite close in the bottom half of the table. Arsenal finishing 16th is a very very surprising one to see. Forest, Leicester and Leeds have all gone down. We have stayed up by a fair few points obviously just about saving ourselves this season. We're kind of floating around the 16th to 12th position in the first three seasons of the Premier League run. Unfortunately, guys, we got knocked out of the third round of the FA Cup by Hull. 3-1 at home, which is a disappointing result. Cambridge United shocked us and beat us on penalties in the Carabao Cup second round. So again, we have not progressed in any of the rounds of any of the Cups in the past two seasons. PSG beat Juventus 4-2 on penalties to win at the Champions League this season. Leverkusen beat Villarreal to win the Europa League. And Brest won at the Conference League 2-1. These are the stats at the end of the season, guys. Washington on 20 goals, 8 assists, 84 overall now he's really really coming along maluda first season with us getting eight goals and three assists that's also and dolan both getting seven goals as well and then a lot of players just getting goals here and there so a bit of a disappointing season compared to last year but we are slowly building this squad together and i think in the seasons to come we are going to really start climbing the league table there's only one thing to do we can only improve and we're going to try and do that in season seven hopefully we can try and raise some funds to be able to buy more players i think we're one or two players away from really having a core squad together we're going to go dive into the season seven transfer window and hopefully sign some more players so then guys we've started season seven we have decided to sell a few players reckon unfortunately handed in a transfer request so we've sold him for 7.2 million pounds to Genoa unfortunately it just didn't work out at Blackburn Rovers Becker has also gone to Los Glil for 9.5 million pounds he's now 31 I decided to get rid of him now and try and go in for someone a bit younger and a bit better Ataglia has also left for 4.1 million pounds he's gone to Galatasaray so we're going to be going out and getting ourselves a new right back and ourselves a new central midfielder so we've gone out and got ourselves our new right back guys it is a English young talent Charlie Hicks has joined from West Brom for 9 million pounds like i did say we did need a new right back and hicks has come in 80 overall 22 years of age 90 million pounds spent i think it's a really good replacement for the right back slot and he'll be going straight into the starting 11 alexander has come in from birmingham for 16.6 .6 million pounds 26 year old will be coming in to play central midfield with matos 79 overall i think he looks like a really good player and i think giving him first team football will only improve his overall so he has come in our new central midfielder and a decent price paid at six 16.6 .6 million pounds. I think that's a good deal from Blackburn there. So this will be your team for season seven, guys. A couple of changes to the lineup. Obviously, Hicks comes in at right back. Alexander comes in as well in the central midfield role with Matos. But overall, this team is shaping up nicely. Like I said, a lot of younger players that are developing well in this team. Obviously, if you look at David Washington, he's already up to an 84 overall. But things are slowly getting there with this squad. I think in a couple of seasons time, this team will develop really nicely.
nicely. And I'm really enjoying just using younger players and players that people don't really know about. We're going to dive into Season 7 now and hopefully try and keep ourselves in the Premier League once again. And hopefully try and get ourselves a little cup run because we have been disappointing in all of the cup competitions this season. Because we've been disappointing in the cup competitions in this rebuild so far. But season 7's here. Let's see where we do finish. And hopefully we can try and stay up. We're at the end of Season 7 and Blackburn have finished 15th in the Premier League. 47 points for us this season. Only just behind Southampton and Brighton as well. We did have quite a bit of a gap away from actually being relegated this season as Ipswich, Everton and Luton went down. We're basically just kind of floating around the bottom half of the table at the moment. We're still trying to get to grips with this team. Obviously a lot of younger players in the squad and they're still trying to develop and I think in a couple of seasons time we're going to really kick on. But for now we're just floating like I said in that 15th spot. Past couple of seasons we've been staying in the same position. We were knocked out by Charlton in the third round of the FA Cup. Once again no cup run for the FA Cup this season. And again the Carroll Cup. We got knocked out in the second round by West Ham. That's back-to-back -back seasons without getting out the first round that we are entering in. We've been disappointing throughout all of the Cups within this rebuild. But something to look at for next season for sure. Man City beating Liverpool in the Champions League final this season. West Ham lost to Sevilla 1-0 and they won at the Europa League this year. And then Bologna won the Conference League after a 3-1 victory against Ghent. Looking at the stats of the season, David Washington is now up to an 86. He's 20 goals and 5 assists for the season. I may look to sell him in this season to raise some more funds to try and build this squad a bit better. I think overall there's some good young players in here but they're not really progressing as maybe as quickly as I wanted them to but David Washington certainly has. If I get a crazy offer, if I get a crazy offer I might just have to accept it. With that being said guys, this is the end of season 7. Once again, kind of staying in the same position in terms of the league table. I think we're going to have to have a real big restructure at the club and if it means selling off some better players to raise some more money to be able to buy better players then I might have to do that in season eight unfortunately guys we are starting off season eight with a massive transfer sale david washington has unfortunately left blackburn rovers but it is an offer that i couldn't have said no to he has left to go to aston villa for 200 million pounds and as you can see guys we now have 196 million pounds to spend on this blackburn team in season eight i have got a lot of money here and i need to utilize it very well if we want to bolster this squad obviously we need to get a new striker in but this now allows us to spend a lot of money on players to upgrade this team and i'm really buzzing for this because i'm going to go on a big shopping spree now improve this team and really try and climb the league table we have gone out and got ourselves our new striker guys obviously with david washington leaving the club we had to go out and get ourselves a new striker and we have done so here loik gillette has come in from newcastle for 43 million pounds the 20 year old is overall 81 90 pace and 43 million pounds spent he looks absolutely insane guys and i think he's going to be a real real successor to david washington next signing on our big summer spree it's going to be a new holding midfielder, guys. And it is Jack Hinshelwood from Nottingham Forest for £25.5 million. He will be coming in to play alongside Matos in the midfield. Alexander will be going down to a backup option. I had him on my shortlist for a couple of seasons now. We finally had enough money to be able to go and buy him. I'm really excited to use him in this Blackburn team. We've also gone out and got ourselves a new centre-back, guys. He will be playing on the left-hand side of the centre-backs. He'll be replacing Bashir Humphreys. Johanovic has come in for £24.5 million from West Brom. Like I said, he will be replacing Humphreys right now. Humphreys will be dropping to the bench. A 22-year-old comes in at 80 overall, £24.5 million spent. I've decided to go for a younger player again, as I'm trying my best to keep this squad as young as possible. And I think he's going to be a really good addition to this Blackburn team. With Everton being relegated, I've decided to go out and get one of their best players. Obanski comes in from Everton for £35.5 million. The 26-year-old is 84 overall. He's going to be one of the highest rated players at the club. And I thought, you know what? I'll go for one of the relegated team's best players. Bring them back to the Premier League. Really nice stats on him. 88 dribbling is one to be looking at. And he'll be coming in to replace Maluda, who will drop to the bench as we look to improve the squad in terms of squad depth. I think Jurbanski is going to be a really good player. And the final signing of Season 8 is here, guys. I've also gone into another relegated team in the Championship. And we brought in Prestani from Ipswich for £47.8 million. 84 overall 25 years 
of age, he'll be coming in at right midfield with 89 pace and 89 dribbling to be looking out for. He will be a really good addition for the team. Aiton will drop to the bench, but he will still be needed in this rebuild. Both 25 years old, both from Argentina. And I think we've got a really good depth on the right hand side of midfield now. So we're at season A, guys. And as you can see, this is going to be the team for season A. And look at the improvements we've made. Obviously, we had to sell David Washington because I felt like we just weren't getting enough money each season. And with poor finishes in the league, why would the club give us more money? I decided to sell our best player, which is unfortunate because David Washington turned into an absolutely insane player. But look at the squad now. We have made it into a really, really promising team. And I really think we can try and climb up to about the 10th place finish. Obviously, a lot of players have come in. Hopefully, they can gel together in this season. And we can try and go on a little cup run as well. But season 8 is here, guys. Let's see where we finish. And hopefully, it is in a top half finish. Blackburn Rovers have finally claimed their first top 10 finish in the Premier League. Finishing on 52 points, guys. We finally managed to break into the top 10. We've been in the Premier League for a good couple of seasons now. And it's good to finally see that this team is kind of building together. And a ninth place finish for Blackburn is very impressive, I must say. Unfortunately, Luton did knock us out on penalties 4-1 after a 2-2 draw in the FA Cup third round. Started our Carabao Cup campaign against Barrow after a 3-1 victory. We go into the third round. We then pumped Sunderland 4-0 away from home to reach the fourth round. And we beat Man City 1-0, which means we do reach the quarterfinals for the first time in this rebuild in the Carabao Cup. And then we beat West Ham 3-0 at home, which means we have made the semi-finals. And would you look at that, guys? We beat Crystal Palace 6-3 on aggregate after a 4-1 away victory to put us into the final of the Carabao Cup, which means we also play against Fulham after they beat Brighton. And we finally won our first trophy, guys. We beat Fulham 1-0 in the Carabao Cup final. Absolutely buzzing with that. We have finally won ourselves a trophy. It's been eight seasons in the making and it's really, really good to finally have all that hard work pay off. Blackburn Rovers are your Carabao Cup winners in season eight. Absolutely insane scenes. Liverpool beat Newcastle to win the Champions League. Atalanta won the Europa League 2-1 against Galatasaray. And Lens won 3-2 to win the Conference League this season. Here are the stats for the end of the season, guys, and a lot more people contributing. Loic Gillett getting 31 goals and 10 assists in his first season with us. He's already up to an 83 overall. I think he's going to be an absolutely insane player for us. Really happy with the return on him in his first season. Prestiani is already up to an 85 overall. 12 goals, 7 assists for him. Really happy with that. Alex Matos also getting goals again this season. He's been really solid for us in the central midfield. And a lot of other players getting in the goals here and there, which I'm really happy with. This team is developing really nicely, guys. As you can see, a lot of the players now, 81 overall or above which is absolutely buzzing to see. It's taken a long time, but the team is starting to really improve. And as you can see, by finishing in the top 10 and also getting the Carabao Cup this season, Blackburn are really on the up now, guys. And we're going to head into season nine now with the aim of climbing up the table even more and trying to get ourselves a European place. That is the goal in mind for this season. So let's dive into season nine with Blackburn. We're into season nine now and the transfer window has opened and I have decided to go out and get ourselves a new goalkeeper. I feel like this is a position that we need to go and improve on and Marshall has come in from Burnley. He is coming in for a fee of £30 million. The 22 year old is 82 overall. He's got some really nice looking stats and he will be replacing Coffee this season. Coffee will now drop to the bench as the backup goalkeeper because I just feel like he hasn't really improved that much. With Marshall being 82 overall, I think he's going to be an absolutely insane goalkeeper for us guys so that will be the only transfer in season nine because we didn't have much money in the bank unfortunately guys but this team overall is actually really turning into a great team a lot of these younger players that have come through are now turning into great players 80 plus one overalls in all positions pretty much i'm really happy with that obviously last season was a great success finishing ninth and also winning the carabao cup and we try and do that again this season we want to try and get up the table into a conference league spot if we can but let's find out if we can do that guys in Season 9 with Blackburn. We're at the end of Season 9, guys, and Blackburn have finished 11th in this season. Unfortunately, we just missed out on a top 10 finish once again. As you can see, the points were quite close. We are edging closer towards a top 6 finish. Obviously, 10 points behind Tottenham, who finished 6th. Unfortunately, guys, not really the season we wanted. It's only two steps back, but I think this team is going to be really, really good in the coming seasons. We've had the first few seasons in the bottom half of the table. The past two seasons have been mid-table, so hopefully we can try and progress, guys, and get ourselves inside the top 10 
I'm aiming for a European spot next season. We start our FA Cup run with a 3-1 win against Peterborough. We then beat Arsenal 4-3 on penalties after a 2-2 draw. We then beat Liverpool 3-2 away from home in the fifth round of the FA Cup. 2-0 against Fulham in the quarterfinals, which means we are in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And we've only going to beat Aston Villa on penalties 4-3 after a 1-0 draw, which means we will face Leicester in the final after they beat Spurs 2-1. And we beat Leicester 1-0 in the FA Cup final, which means we have now won both of the domestic cups the carabao cup and the fa cup which is absolutely amazing we beat stoke in the third we beat stoke in the second round of the carabao cup and then unfortunately guys arsenal pumped us 4-2 to knock us out in the third round dortmund beat liverpool on penalties to win the champions league this season Mallorca won 2-1 to win the europa league this season that is very interesting we actually made the conference league because we won the carabao cup last season so we finished 13th in the league phase we then absolutely smashed paokfc in the playoff phase 6-2 on aggregate to go into the round of 16. Then beat Braga 6-2 on aggregate after a 4-1 win in the round of 16. And then we won 5-2 on aggregate in the quarterfinals to progress into the semi-finals of the Conference League. And we just about beat Roma 4-3 on aggregate, which means we will play Mudgen Gladbach in the final. And we've only gone and done a cup double, guys. Our first season in European football, and we have won the Conference League 2-1 against Mudgen Gladbach. I'm absolutely buzzing with that, guys. Not only did we win the FA Cup this season, but we also won the Conference League. This now means we will be playing Europa League football next season. A massive achievement for Blackburn Rovers after a tricky start in the Premier League. We've now won our third trophy, and we've done the cup double in this season. Wow, would you look at the stats guys Luke Gillette's getting 41 goals and 9 assists in 64 games what an absolutely insane return he's already 86 overall he is going to be an absolute beast for us I think he's going to be our main striker for the rest of this rebuild Inshawood getting 14 goals and 8 assists from centre mid 84 overall now he's turning into a good player Restiani also up another rating to 86 getting 14 goals and 9 assists again a lot of players just contributing here and there which is good to see so we won the FA Cup and the Conference League in this season absolutely insane return i'm so happy with that progression of this team is really coming together now we need to push on and try and win the all-important premier league and champions league trophy if we want to complete this rebuild so we're going to move on into the next season and hopefully try and add to this squad i'm sure we're going to get given a bit more money this season after winning two trophies Okay then guys, we're into season 10 now with Blackburn. It's been a really long journey with Blackburn Rovers. Only the two transfers this season. Dolan left for £4.1 million. And we brought in Kirkhairs from Arsenal for £36.5 million. I felt like the left back needed to be upgraded and he comes in to replace he comes in to be our new left back guys i just felt like the left back needed to be upgraded and kirk has, has come in from arsenal to be that man to replace our current left back so this will be your team for season 10 guys I really think this team is good enough to get ourselves into the european positions in the premier league we'll see the defense is a bit young still need time to develop but the attacking threat is absolutely insane now the development of some of these players has been really really good to see and it's only going to improve and get better as we progress in this rebuild season 10 is here goal is to try and get into the top six for the season and hopefully we can try and get ourselves into the champions league we also have europa league football this season after winning the conference league another trophy to try and hunt down we'll see if we can do that in season 10 we're at the end of season 10 guys and as you can see blackburn rovers have finished second in the premier league what an absolutely insane achievement we were just shy of newcastle in first i mean we finished on 66 points newcastle finishing on 79 newcastle finishing on 79 and if you look at the lead table from 7th all the way to us in 2nd, it was actually really, really close. That only means one thing. We've got Champions League football next season, which is really good to see. I'm really hopeful we can try and win that in the next season. Unfortunately, Man City did beat us in the Community Shield 7-6 on penalties. We beat Cheltenham in the 3rd round of the FA Cup 3-1 away from home. We then beat Oxford 2-1 in the 4th round. And then unfortunately, guys, we lost 1-0 to Spurs in the 5th round of the FA Cup. We beat Crystal Palace 2-0 in the second round of the Carabao Cup. And then Ipswich beat us on penalties in the third round, so we do not progress in the Carabao Cup this season. So Europa League football was for Blackburn this season, and we did finish fifth in the league phase, which means we go straight into the round of 16. And we beat Napoli 2-1 on aggregate after a one all second leg at home. We drew 3-0 with Benfica on Agra and then we won 6-5 on penalties to reach the semi-finals of the Europa League. Ah, oh, and unfortunately, guys, Frankfurt did beat us 4-1 they finished Sevilla in the final and Sevilla did end up winning the Europa League this season. Wow, guys, look at this. Loic Gillette 
now an 89 overall. He scored 40 goals this season. This kid has turned into an absolute monster. Prestiani has also gone up to an 88 overall with 22 goals this season. Hassan is really developing on this left-hand side now. 85 overall, 14 goals and 3 assists. Matos as well, 85 overall now, 29 years of age. I've really enjoyed using him in the midfield. He's actually surprised me quite a lot with how he's developed. But overall, we have had a really good season. Second in the Premier League, a semi-final in the Europa League. And we need to really use that momentum, bring it into the next season. We're into season 11 of this Blackburn Rovers rebuild. It's been a massive journey so far. And I feel like we're only a couple of signings away from winning the Premier League and trying to have a run in the Champions League, guys. So we're going to go into season 11, go into the transfer window and try and sign some new players hopefully give ourselves the edge win that premier league and champions league trophy so we're into season 11 now guys and we have been busy in the transfer window as you can see on the screen Inshawood has gone to athletic bilbao for 75 million pounds we then brought in pavlovich one of my favorite players in fc 25 career modes he has come in to replace him 63.8 million pounds spent on him and we also bought geordie kramer 65 million plus our right back we did an exchange for each each other's right backs Kramer looks like an absolutely insane young talent 85 overall I thought I really wanted to upgrade the fullbacks so we went for him in right back left back we also went with Nuno Mendes very popular one in career mode for sure 10 million pounds plus Kirkes who has gone to lens and I think it's a massive upgrade in terms of the fullbacks and also Pavlovich in the midfield since making those signings this is what the team looks like Kramer comes in at right back Mendes at left back Pavlovich into the midfield and on paper this team is really really good i'm sure we'll be able to challenge for the premier league with this team it's absolutely insane i'm really happy with the progression on matos Hassan, Prestiani as well and also obviously Gillette up front he's been absolutely insane for us like I said we're in season 11 now it's been a very long rebuild but let's kick off season 11 and see where we can finish we're at the end of season 11 guys and as you can see Blackburn have finished second once again in the Premier League only one point off Chelsea in first really disappointing that we didn't win the league this season we were so so close unfortunately we just didn't quite get there one point away we did indeed win the the FA Cup for the second time in this rebuild. We beat Man United 2-1 in the FA Cup. Unfortunately, no Carabao Cup run either because Man City did beat us 2-0 in the third round. We finished 10th in the league phase in the Champions League, which means we do have to go through the playoff phase. We beat Real Betis 6-3 on aggregate to progress into the round of 16. We then beat Stuttgart 3-2 on aggregate after a 1-0 away leg victory put us into the quarterfinals. We somehow beat Real Madrid 4-3 on aggregate, which means we get put into the semi-finals of the Champions Champions League and we've only gone and done it guys we are now into the Champions League final because we won 3-2 on aggregate in the semi-finals and we will face Sevilla in the Champions League final in season 11 what an achievement for Blackburn Rovers to get there we have finally made it to the Champions League final this will be your team for the Champions League final an unchanged team all season some of these players have turned into absolute beasts Matos is up to 87 Hassan 87 Gillette, 90 overall now. The striker has absolutely dominated once again this season. But this will be your team for the Champions League final. We're going to head into that game now and see if we can finally lift Champions League glory. To play down. Gillette. He's going to play Hassan on the left-hand side. He's going to cut inside. Gillette is in the middle. Can he shoot? Oh, what a goal that is from Gillette. It's 1-0 to Blackburn in the Champions League final. What a tremendous bit of play from Hassan on the left-hand side. He slots it inside. Gillette. Outside the boot, through the legs, into the top far corner. He has put Blackburn up 1-0 inside the first 10 minutes of this game. Pavlovic now driving through the middle. Pavlovic going to get the shot away. And it's a great save by the keeper. Matos with the corner now. He's going to whip this one in. Can we get on the end of it? It's a great header. Guzman gets the goal to put Blackburn 2 0 up inside the first 15 minutes of the Champions League final. What an absolute bullet header that was as he celebrates with the Blackburn fans. Matos with the delivery. He whipped it right in there. And Guzman with the power header. He smashes that one into the back of the net. The keeper had no chance. And Blackburn a 2 0 up inside 15 minutes. We'll play through now to Gillette. He's going to cut inside. That's a lovely bit of play from him. And it's another goal. What a goal that is, by the way. Gillette has been absolutely unreal for us. What a finish from the outside of the boot there. Cuts inside the number 10. 
bangs it into the top corner. What a strike that was. It's now 3-0 to Blackburn. Attack now. And we find Mendes on the left-hand side. Great run from Mendes. Gonna have to get a good delivery in here. I think he's offside. Plays it back across. And he's offside. Oh, he's not offside. What the hell? I thought he was offside. We're gonna play it through. Can we square it? Oh, surely. Hassan! Hassan with the goal! We've made it 4-0. I really thought we were offside with that initial cross from the first attack. This one was a bit scrappy. And Hassan was there at the right time to smash it into the bottom corner. And that's surely game over now. 4-0 to Blackburn Rovers in the Champions League final. Here comes Sofia now. Ball played through. Papadopoulos, the striker, squares it. Ball's played through. Back to Papadopoulos. And he's chipped the keeper. Oh, what a finish that was. But it's going to be a consolation goal, guys, because I think it's late. I think it's too late in the day to get anything from this Champions League final for Sevilla. But a lovely taken goal. And it's now 4-1. But that should be full time when we do kick off here. Hassan's just going to go run it to the corner now. But over the time, we're going to cross it in for one more attack. And it's blocked. And that should be the Champions League final for Blackburn. And it is. Blackburn Rovers are your Champions League winners in Season 11. Absolutely insane finish. A 4-1 victory in the Champions League final for Blackburn Rovers. That now ticks off the Conference League, the Carroll Cup, two FA Cups, and now the Champions League trophy. We were just short for the Premier League, but I think winning the Champions League here in the way we did it is a perfect way to end this rebuild. Blackburn Rovers has been an absolute pleasure. It's been a long, long rebuild, but I have loved, absolutely loved this rebuild. Some of the players that we did end up getting have been amazing. But Blackburn do lift the Champions League trophy in Season 11. It's a perfect way to end this rebuild. Absolutely love this team. Some really, really good players. Matos, players like Matos, Guzman at the back, Hassan at left mid. And our main man up front who turns into some absolute beast. But that will be the end of the video, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love rebuilding Blackburn. We got them back to that Champions League. We got them that Champions League trophy in the end. And that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.